how's everyone doing today i'm gonna do a little video on a uh explanation on how i set my uh motor grader up when i'm two pass and gravel road so this road here we've been in a really dry spell we just had a little rain so i'm out here cutting roads so what i do is my rim roll is over here on this side of the crown so i grab that kicked it to my center line and then bladed it across and then right now i'm grabbing my rim roll off of the shoulder here I'm articulated pretty good because I got a pretty good size rim rolling spots from cutting washboards out and stuff. Use your articulation, it's your best friend, especially when trying to pick up loose material. And uh, I got my blade rolled back pretty good trying to get that gravel to discharge, you know, get it to the center line. So, if you come over here, I'm putting that material right on the center line and just a little bit across so when i take and blade my rim roll off what i'll do is i'll take my uh, machine and i'll do a video when i blade off too i will take my motor grader and put it right down the middle of this rim roll and then when i take and put my blade to the right i'll dump my rim roll just on this side of the wheel track so I'll make a line right here so where that line is is my render will be there I leave it about a foot from the grass line that way you leave yourself enough room to grab it the next time so that's how I uh, gotta set my machine up I will uh, take and shoot another video here quick when I start blading the render off thanks for watching Here's how I set my machine up when I uh, take the rim row off the road. So I got the rim row in the middle, right on top of the crown and just over. And then I'm running my machine down the center of the rim row. And my left side tandems are right on center line. And then when I take a blade off, I'm leaving about a half inch to an inch of material on center line. And then I take a blade and rim roll off. I'm leaving it roughly a foot to six inches from the edge of the grass line. So it still is a little misleading, but obviously take a foot and go to the edge of the rim roll. It's pretty damn close here. I'm not dumping a lot of material on the center line here, especially on the hilltops. You don't want to build too much of a crown on them. You get where, uh, if you get it too steep, water will start speeding up and then washing down the edge of the road. Really don't want that. But uh, yeah, that's kind of how I set my machine up. And then I'll leave that uh, here little sit over here and I'll uh, take and pick that up the next time I put it and be uh, ready to go. So, if anybody's got any questions on how I do a particular thing or whatever, just put it down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer that. I uh, would like to thank everybody for watching. Please uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll uh, keep more informational videos like this coming and uh, like it and thanks for watching.